lived happily ever after. That was a good one. Well, Noelle, it's time for you to get some sleep. Good night. I love you. Wait a minute. Don't leave yet. Can what? you stay a while longer? Why? What's going on? That book made me nervous. And now I'm thinking about all the things I'm afraid of. Like what? Well, let's see there. Airplanes, bees, coronavirus, electric shock, fire, ghosts, lice, mice, nighttime, poison, questions, roller coasters, spiders, teasing, worms, x rays, yellow fever, and zoom. Whoa, did you just list all your fears in alphabetical order? I can relate. I feel afraid sometimes. So, how do I feel better right now? I can't sleep when I'm scared. Well, sometimes it helps to remember we're a part of a story. When I'm afraid or I'm worrying, I remember that I'm a part of a story that's bigger than myself. And God's story is full of people who were afraid. You know, I think I have time to tell you one more story tonight. This part of God's story is during a time when many people were afraid of many things, just like us. It all begins in Nazareth, a town in Galilee with a woman named Mary. talk to me? I would... Uh, pardon me. Let me start over. Greetings, favorite one. God is with you. Um, what kind of greeting was that? Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. You're going to have a baby boy, and you will call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and his kingdom will have no end. How can this be? How will this happen? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the Most High will overshadow you. This child's going to be holy. He'll be called the Son of God. Also, your relative Elizabeth, she's going to have a baby too, even when people thought it would be impossible. But nothing's impossible with God. Was all of that supposed to be a question? Oh, um... Well, are you asking me if I want to do this? Good question. Um, yes. Hmm. Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to this message. I need to tell Elizabeth. Elizabeth, I'm so glad you're home. Oh, Mary, thanks for visiting. I have to tell you something. You are so blessed among women, and the baby in your womb is also blessed. The moment the sound of your greeting entered my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Here, feel it. Oh, Elizabeth, I'm also bursting with good news. God took one look at me, and look what happened. I'm the most blessed woman on earth. What God has done for me will never be forgotten. I'm talking about the God who knocked the powerful off their thrones and lifted up the lowly. So, uh, can I stay with you for a few months? Mary is pregnant? How is that possible? We aren't married yet. And the law says that is not good. No good at all. It claims that this child, the child she carries, is actually God's child. My only option is to marry her and then divorce her quietly. That will save my reputation at least. But she would be disgraced. I don't know what to do. I'm afraid. Oh, Mary. Son of David, do not be afraid to get married. God's Holy Spirit has made Mary pregnant. She will have a son, and you will name him Jesus. God saves, because he will save his people from their sins. Huh? I'm going to marry Mary. I'm going to marry Mary! And we are going to have a baby and we're going to name him Jesus. I'm going to be a dad. 
I need to pack. Hold on, I have questions. Okay. Why is Joseph packing a bag? Why is Joseph afraid about Mary having a baby? Do angels still visit people in dreams? Why is Mary? Why did Mary stay in Elizabeth's house? Who named the kid God saves? Why is everybody making such a big deal about this? It's just a baby. This story is so weird. I just... Yeah, okay. I don't know the answer to most of these questions. This is a bigger-than-life kind of story, and there are a lot of unexplainable and miraculous parts. That's not like what Pastor Elizabeth says when I ask tough questions. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad I sound like Pastor Elizabeth because we just don't have all the answers. Now, I do know the answer to one of those questions. Why was Joseph packing a bag? Now, to understand that, we need to meet the emperor. Citizens of Rome, it is I, your Lord and Savior, Good Shepherd, Light, Way, and Prince of Peace, Caesar Augustus. First, I want to say you're welcome for all the great things I've done for you. There has never been an emperor as powerful and glorious as me. My empire is vast. You people are obedient. I am saving you all, all of you, and you owe me so much, so very much. Citizens, I want to count you. Yes, let's get a good head count so that you can all pay me what I am owed. Go to your hometown and register your family so that you can show your proper appreciation of my awesomeness. I decree it to be so. Farewell, my faithful children. May you know my magnificent ways. Farewell. Okay, the good news is I think I found us a place to stay. Finally, this baby's not going to wait much longer. Where are we staying? Oh, did you get a room at that nice and I like the one for the breakfast? Uh, not exactly. It was full. Oh, no. What are we going to do? Sleep outside with the shepherd's stand stable with the donkeys? What? No. Who would do that? Joseph, the baby's coming soon. I know, I know. The guest rooms are full, but I found an innkeeper who will let us stay in a small space in his home. Oh, good. Yeah, it's a nice space. Lots of hay. Maybe a few animals. All right, let's do this. Okay, stop there. What? Why? I don't think I want to hear the first part. Hmm. Okay, well, we can talk about that later, but the Bible doesn't really give us any details about the birth, except Mary had the baby, wrapped him in cloth, and laid him in a feeding trough. That's it. But those are important details to remember for the next part of our story. It takes place in a field. Okay, keep going. So there were these shepherds living outside in a field nearby, watching over their sheep. They were about to be frightened by some powerful messengers from God. But then they would learn soon enough that they didn't need to be afraid. Glory to God in the highest. <clears throat> Glory to God. Ah. Uh... Is this thing even working? Am I on mute? Are you people even listening? Do not be afraid. 
I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David. Today in the town of David, the Savior is born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and laying in a manger. And lying in a manger. Good news for, for all people. The Messiah is born, the Savior. Glory to God. The great guide in the highest. And honor. That is all. Goodbye. So, you guys saw that, right? Um, yes. Yes, I did. Ah! Yep, that happened. Uh, well, we are going, right? Yes, we are going. We have to go. Do you bring the sheep? I think we have to. Ah, ah. Yeah, we want to come. Take us with you. Uh, uh. What were those signs again? A baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Uh, we won't forget. Let's go. Come on, sheep. You too. That was a miracle. It was exactly how the angel described. The baby was wrapped in a cloth and lying in a manger. Friends, we have seen something amazing tonight. I don't know about you, but it feels like the world is changing. Yeah, but why do you think we got to see it? Nobody cares about us, shepherds. We're, we're poor. We don't have any. Very, we don't have very much power. I have no idea. But the baby's mother, Mary, acted like this was exactly what was supposed to happen. Like this was meant for people like us. Maybe this baby will lift up the lowly. And bring down the lofty. Wouldn't that be something? It, it sure would. I, I believe there is no limit to what this baby can do. Hey, shepherds, was that star there last night? I don't think I've ever seen that one before. <laughs> go, Tony, go! Hello, and welcome to our observatory. We are the wise men. Wise people. The Magi. We are really more like scientists. Astronomers. We study the stars. We study the stars so well that when something changes, we notice immediately. And we just noticed a new star. We must follow our scientific instincts and find out why there is a new star in the sky. We now begin our journey. Are we there yet? You literally just asked that. Now? Yes, yes, it looks like we are here. Here it is, Bethlehem. Let's look up the local king so we can get some more information. Did someone say king? That would be me. I'm the big cheese around here. Everybody's talking about it. They say I'm a powerful king, the best Bethlehem has ever seen. We got it, best king ever. So, we are here because we're looking for the newly born king. The child born king of the Jews. We observe his star as it's rising. And now, we come to honor him. Ah, uh, would you excuse me for a moment? I need to make a call. Hi, uh, put me through to my smart people. Yeah, hi, this is your king, you know, the very best king. I need to know, according to your research, where is the Messiah supposed to be born? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Bethlehem. You sure about that? Okay. Bye. So, hi, wise folks. Yeah, yeah, th th this is great. This will be great. Go on and, and find this baby king and pay him honor, okay? And, and then get back to me so that I too can honor him, okay? Um, okay, sure. Okay, yeah, yeah, all right. We can do that. Let's get out of here. When we left Herod, he decided to sit around and be jealous and plan his revenge. He felt very threatened there was a new leader that, pe that people were excited to meet. 
But we found Jesus and brought him gifts to the special child. We brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Usually these are gifts for royalty. Powerful people, grown men. But we brought these gifts to a tiny, weak, and oppressed child. Even though we didn't know exactly what was going on, we knew he was important. This good news would turn everything upside down. Oh. And by the way, we didn't return to that wicked King Herod. Nope. No way. We were warned in a dream to take a different way home. We might say we took the scenic route. And now we return to watching the stars. Those wise people were really brave. They honored the king God had chosen and brought him presents, disobeyed the orders of King Herod, and made it home safely. Yes, they were brave and determined. Everyone in, was in the story, I think. From Mary and Joseph to the shepherds and the magi, they all recognized that the birth of Jesus mm -hmm. was going to change the world. Okay, are you guys feeling safe and sleepy yet? Our story's coming to an end. Oh. <sighs> Yes, I feel safe and sleepy, but this isn't really the end. No? Why not? It's bedtime. We need to get some sleep. This is just the beginning. Jesus is born. He grows up. He changes water to wine. He teaches. He heals. He flips tables. All right, all right, all right. Jesus' birth is just the beginning. Uh, we have a lot to talk about, but it's late. So maybe tonight let's just focus on the one special moment, the one night that brought us Jesus. Okay, that makes sense. This is a good story. God's story is unfolding more good news every day. And in the end, all things will be made right. That doesn't mean we won't be afraid along the way. But we can trust that love and justice will always have the final word. Speaking of the final word, let's have a final word from Mary, the mother of Jesus. My soul magnifies the Lord. 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 And my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you, O God, have looked with favor on the lowliness of your servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For you, the Mighty One, have done great things for me. And holy is your name. And holy is your name. And holy is your name. Your mercy is for those who fear God from generation to generation. 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 You, O oh God, have shown strength with your arms. You have scattered the proud in the thought of their hearts. You, God, have brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. 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 You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have helped your servant Israel in remembrance of your mercy. According to the promises you made to our descendants, to Abraham and to Sarah, and, and to, to their, their descendants, descendants forever. 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 forever.